Fantasia, welcome back to another episode of Disaster Diaries. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little intro. As you guys can see, things are not going well for Huxton and Avery. I mean, of course. So right now she's trying to calm herself down with some chamomile tea. She was just sitting at the table like in disbelief and Araya decided to come in with her and sit with her and now Araya is making something in the crock pot and she's just drinking her tea. So she's feeling so many different emotions right now. She has heartbreak fueled fury. And also she says, how are we even family from difficult family dynamic? Another thing that happened was that Araya was actually arguing with her dad too, because she's just so disappointed in him. And, um, they actually got a new family dynamic. So right now they're kind of struggling. So we have the hurt sentiment and saddened, and then they got the difficult family dynamic. So they didn't previously have that. And right now, oh, he be trying to come back. Oh, he's trying to work out. Okay, never mind. We're good. I thought he was trying to come back down here. So currently he is kicked out of the main house and he is staying up here. Um, Avely said, you know, we're a family. I don't know what to do right now, but all I know is that I do not want to see you, so you're coming up here. So I do feel like it's going to take her a little bit of time. I don't think she would just, just the way her personality is, I can't see her kicking him to the curb, like, on the spot. Because she is just so focused on the fact that, like, the, oh, <laughs> the, but they were a family and, you know, oh my god. Okay, as you can see, we have the haunting going on because the, like, for rent pack, so, uh, yeah. Can we actually confront this ghost because like you can fuck off confront ghosts <laughs> oh my god oh my god get the fuck off my property <gasps> she's pissed off she's gonna do it she's feeling confident right now but like she also has like all these other emotions going on we also have icky feeling oh my god <laughs> whoa all right uh i guess we did that yeah Okay, we still didn't complete either of those, but he is getting a workout in. Honestly, he is less affected. Like, really. He has shamed from being slapped, so Avely actually did slap him. And he's feeling determined. So, yeah, you can see he's just obviously a total dickhead. Like, he's barely affected. It makes me feel bad. Like, you know, she's trying to spend time with her mom, like, trying to help her feel better. She's actually starving, so she's gonna eat that right now. So, um, I don't know who you're checking up with, but she also has, please don't talk to me because of the bad breath. We also have a right from slapping someone. You have to use more than words to make them stop. Oh my god. Okay, we also have calm and collective chamomile. Okay, so that's helping her feel better. And little Jiraiya is just passed, passed out. He's just sleeping. You know, he's super dirty, but I'm glad that he's asleep. I don't want to wake him. I'm just going to have him, like, do everything in the morning. He is really hungry, though. Oh, he just woke up. Okay, you know what? He woke up. He's hungry. He feels like he stinks. <laughs> He didn't have a shower after school, so he's like, I'm gonna take a bath. Um, I like how we can play in the jets. If we do that, um, can we actually, no, just take a bubble bath. He wants to have a little bubble bath, you know, he got some sleep in, like, as you can see, he went to sleep early, he was dead tired after school, but I'm glad he did because, you know, he didn't get to see any of the arguing. So, yeah. Earlier in the day when they got home from school, Araya was just pushing him on the swing, as you guys probably saw in the intro. Anyway, you will not be doing that. You're going to be going to your own area because fuck you. Oh my god, and then she's here. <laughs> no! Okay, wait. So, we're going to actually make this function the way I want it to. So, what we're going to do is actually, first of all, you do need to get out of here. So, let's have her get out. And then we're going to go ahead and lock four. Oh, we want to do everyone but um, him. So let's do that. Lock for everyone but Huxton. So that way he will actually be staying up here on his own. Oh, they're going to awkwardly meet each other here. Absolutely not. She's hungry. Get down here. We still have ghosts. Like, please just <laughs> screw off. Okay, release the steam vent and then let's eat whatever Araya decided to cook. So Araya decided to head to sleep. She did smoke some weed, which her parents still don't know about. And yeah, she just... She's so stressed out about this whole thing. We're going to have you go here. We want to get rid of these ghosts. Oh my god. All right. So you go ahead and release the steam. We're going to have you grab a serving. And then let's also have you grab a serving. And then he'll be all good. He might go to the bathroom and then go to bed. So yeah, Avely is just super confused right now. Some of you guys feel like 
maybe Esme is actually a sweetheart, but she just like messed up. And I don't know if you guys caught the full intro like to episode one, but I don't think she was a sweetheart. Uh, however, I do think pregnancy might change her and being a mom might change her. So she might become a sweetheart, but remember in the intro you guys or go watch it through again she was flirty with huxton at the pool right here while avalee was right here and it's not like esme was unaware she knows they live right next door of course she knows he's married and has kids and everything and their marriage was going perfectly so like she's aware of that fully aware so she intentionally did that and yes they were drinking and things could have got out of hand out of hand but the thing is in my opinion the flirting here shouldn't have happened they were sober here right in front of the wife then when he came over and knocked on her door they were both sober at the time oh you recovered from your illness so i think clearly it was clear why huxton was there and he started being flirty with her before they even started drinking and if esme was actually a girl's girl she would have said no you need to leave like i'm sorry this is not okay and she didn't do that of course you know she flirted back then she started drinking with him like she was fully aware so yeah in this situation oh wait in this situation avely was the one being lied to and now the truth has come out so she's she's great she's done no wrong here this is actually cute i feel like she's upset and she wanted to sleep with her daughter that's i love that like oh my god that melts my heart do you seriously keep trying you know what i'm about to lock him out of the house like <laughs> i'm so for real right now i'm about to lock him out of the damn house the thing is though this is just like open so i don't know how well that's gonna work oh he is up here why do you have an umbrella in the actual house i don't know we're gonna vacuum to perfection why did you just pee but it didn't relieve yourself i don't know <laughs> it's really late he's still awake and he's gonna also go ahead and take a shower so, you know what? Shower first, dude. He should honestly get to bed. It's like really late. Should I just put him to bed? Okay, so she's woken up in the middle of the night. Honestly, she probably wouldn't sleep the greatest in her daughter's bed, but she's gonna go to the bathroom and, you know, she's just feeling it. You know, she's very uncomfortable and I feel like, well, she does have to go to work. Oh, she doesn't go to work for two days. You know, I feel like she has a lot on her mind and now she's very embarrassed. <laughs> So we're going to actually have her have a bath with soaks and she's going to do lavender foam. At 6am, you know, I feel like when you're going through shit, you might wake up at like weird times in the night. She's just taking a bath because she wants to. So she's currently feeling pretty neurotic. It says these sims show extremely higher sensitivity towards sadness, anger, and stress. So yeah, she feels things a lot more intensely and that makes me feel bad. So dry high school in an hour and then of course so does Araya. So he's awake and he's actually feeling really good this morning. He's so cute. So even though he doesn't have much time, I'm, mm, what does he want to go do? No, don't make a mess. Go do your homework. Be a good boy because your mom's going through a lot, okay? <laughs> we don't need to be doing that. We don't need to be doing that. I definitely think she would try to sleep in as long as she can, but she knows school soon and she knows she needs a shower. So I feel like she set an alarm and she's going to go head down here and take a shower before she heads to school. So she's, oh no, she started her first period. Okay, let's go ahead and get her some pads and tampons. All right, so I'm just going to put those there and then we'll put it into her inventory and stuff. Let's open the box and then unpack and she's going to go ahead and unwrap the tampon and use tampon. So she's going to get that all situated. I feel so bad. She's also in dirty clothing because she started her period overnight. This is her first period, you guys. Aww. Okay, so you just took your birth control pill. That's good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and send a loan and all oh, overwhelmed from being sensitive my heart oh watch i mean she still didn't go back to bed she's probably having some insomnia oh no i think you're gonna go over here and like yell at her <laughs> why are you playing the guitar so next episode we're gonna be playing with her household because i don't know if she's gonna have the baby soon you guys um so we're gonna be mean and we're gonna go ahead and do um arguments and we're gonna yell at oh no festering bitterness okay yeah she definitely feels a lot of things as soon as she's around her Okay, so we're showered. She's gonna go to high school. We're feeling all sorts of things. Dry and itchy. She needs lotion. She's embarrassed. Oh, she does not want to go to school today, you guys. I would imagine she just wants to go home. And <laughs> it's raining and she was trying to get in the pool, which is funny. So we're going to go here. Arguments again. And we're gonna argue 
uh, argue about career. I don't know why, but we are. And then let's see. So there's the drama one. We're going to do petty job. I definitely think their relationship would not be don't, going so well, to be honest. So, oh, you're very sad. I feel like she doesn't care though. You know, we're going to, we're slapping her. Like, bitch, you fucked with my life. You ruined my relationship. What is wrong with you? Like, seriously. Okay, because it's like raining, she put her normal clothes back on, but I'm gonna ever slap her again. She's not done. <laughs> We're gonna slap her again. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, the slap happens so fast. Like, I want a picture of it, but I don't think that's happening. She's pregnant. Otherwise, I feel like she'd do more to her. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she's a nice sim, but like, no, you mess with the wrong bitch. We can do a face punch though. We're gonna do it. And that's all we're gonna do because she is pregnant and I feel bad, but oh, you guys. Oh my God. Of course I had to get a photo. She does not like her. Yeah, their relationship is bad now. Oh my goodness. I mean, bitch, you just, you mess with the wrong girl, okay? You thought you could get away with it because obviously Abel is a sweetheart, but no. Not when you do this, all right? <laughs> not when you do this. So honestly, I feel like she's wanting to get out. Like she just wants to get out of this place for a while. He's still asleep and she doesn't have work. So yeah, they now despise each other as they should. And then what is this? Slight depression. Huxton is slightly depressed after finding out his child. Kyle is doing drugs, he found out. <gasps> when? She doesn't know yet. Oh my God, stop. Okay, she's gonna leave. She wants to have some fun. I don't know where she's gonna go because it's only, well, it's almost 10 a.m. I feel like before we know it though, it'll be the afternoon. So I don't really think it matters where we go. So there is this bar here, but she can always get some food first and then she can start drinking. I do feel like, you know, the kids are at school and she just wants to release some stress, some tension. You know, she literally just punched Esme in the face. So maybe we'll just head over here. It's close by. I feel like this is exactly where she would go. You know, she just wants somewhere she can get too quick. She can kind of walk over so then she can have some drinks. Why the fuck are you here? What? Bye. Go home. Are you kidding me? No, we don't want you here leave right now you're fucking in your pjs like bitch so she did not want to see him just then uh she still has the heartbreak fury so it's gonna be probably kind of quiet around here for a little bit i feel like um honestly like i said well maybe we do some morning drinking because i mean hey but i don't think she would do that i feel like she's gonna wait a little bit we're gonna instead we're gonna watch channel and we're gonna watch the comedy channel so she can get some fun. She was already getting fun from that one, but I feel like she wants the comedy channel, a nice laugh, and it's quiet in here right now because it's early, so only a few sims are rolling in now. So maybe she can make some new friends too. I feel like that could be good for her. So let's do a friendly introduction. And no, she's not gonna be looking for anyone to hook up with. I don't think she's the type to get revenge like that. I can't see it. Unless it happens like out of my control, like I don't even do it and it happens. Aw, you're a stressed sim. Are are you stressed? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're gonna ask about her, uh, your day. Uh, another pregnant sim, which I feel like is triggering for her, but she's gonna say hi to her. You know, sims are sitting with her. I feel like that kind of might help her feel better. You know, like sims are like wanting to get to know her. You know, I feel like she needs some good energy right now. So we're gonna go to friendly and we're gonna go to hobbies and we're gonna talk about cooking. And then with you, let's do share Santa Claus secrets. Sure. And I mean, it's about to be 11. I feel like she wants a drink. <laughs> We're not going to judge her. She's going through it. Order a drink. And what should we get? Let's do a vodka soda. Why? My Sims just reset. Okay, let's do that again. What? Oh, is it? Is your shift over? Do we have to wait? Oh, oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Order a drink, order a drink, and let's get a vodka soda. Okay, so now by the time she gets her drink, it'll basically be noon anyways, so perfect. <laughs> Actually, it probably will be. No, don't leave your drink. It, isn't that hers? Uh, oh, did you guys order the same thing? Okay, thanks. Um, She looks sad. Maybe they can kind of bond. I don't know. Let's do a respectful introduction, and then let's also meet you. I really think she's just trying to keep her mind off things, so she's trying to meet as many new sims as she can and just not think, you know? There are so many sims here, like, okay, I, we love that. 
We absolutely love that. Okay, she's trying to meet this sim over here. <laughs> Look at all these sims she's talking to. Oh my god. What the heck? She's like, I want to talk to everyone. Okay, so we also have... Oh, and you're a positive sim. Okay, love that. Oh, I still have my headline effects off. Okay, there we go. Okay, you're an adult. Let's talk with you. Um, Let's do a friendly introduction. You're still not done your one drink. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so she's getting to know this dude, and then it looks like this guy is going to join the conversation. So let's tell an unbelievable story. And then once you're done that drink, let's go ahead and order another one. Let's get... What should we get this time? Maybe some wine? Let's get some grape wine. Honestly, we could invite one of her friends here. Like, she does have some friends. So that's a possibility. Like, this is her neighbor. And I feel like they get along pretty well, so we could just, like, invite her here and they can kind of catch up a little bit. My sims, like, keep resetting. Like, don't we just love that? We just love it. <laughs> so, there's also this dude, Sony, and they're, like, both Huxton and her were friends with him. I don't know if he's gonna go against Huxton because of what he did, but I feel like she wants to tell her friends, like, what Huxton did to her, you know? So I think we're going to chat with him, at look, or I think we're going to chat with her. Aw, let's share her insecurities, you know, she's just feeling really insecure about what Huxton did to her. So she's kind of just letting her know. Oh, oh my god. So she's like clearly kind of in shock. Deep thoughts and we're going to go ahead, actually, yeah, deep conversation. So she's just kind of telling her what's been going on and Sony's over here. So we're going to tell him as well. First, we're going to ask him about his day. And then we'll kind of drop the news on him. I don't know. I personally feel like he would take her side. I mean, because it's just not okay. Like what Huxton did. Like, I just can't see him. What am I doing? I just can't see him being okay with that. You know, like they were all friends. Do you guys hear my cat meowing? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like they're going to continue being friends. Just friends, like nothing more. At least like anytime soon. I can't see that. Like, like I said, like there's never been anything going on here. You know, like it's always just been a friendship there, but it was like, you know, both of them would hang out with him. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, she did have, oh wait, they're slow dancing. Oh, she's pregnant. Stop. Um, she did have quite a few friends with her husband, like friends that she shared with him. Um, same with Marley. Like they were all friends and you know, something flirty happened. Like Sims, I swear to God, <laughs> they're always like flirting with each other. Like I can't. Um, so that was like unintentional, but yeah, like they, they had friends that they would all invite over like Cassidy. And so I don't know what's going to happen from there, but I personally feel like they might kind of cut him off and be friends with her. You know, I, I don't know. I actually also kind of feel like there's not really any taking sides here. I just feel like Huxton is in the wrong period. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys agree with that. I feel like most of you do though. Like, it wasn't like this accidental, like, oh, like, you know, I just got like caught up in the moment. Like, like, no, no. He, they argued he purposely left and went right to Esme's house. Like, it was so intentional because also like they had already flirted at the pool. Like, he knew exactly what he wanted. You know what I mean? Those, like, he, he knew why he was going over there. Absolutely. So it wasn't like a in the moment kiss where they're both like, oh my gosh, like we shouldn't have done that. Like, no. It was so much more than that and just like not okay. So she's already really tired because she did wake up really early. She's having trouble sleeping and stuff, but I feel like she's like, okay, I'm going to go home. Okay. So we need to make sure we pay our bills. We're not going to worry about it right now. And she's going to try to get some sleep. So she's going to get some rest for a little while. He's going to work out as he always does. I don't know why everyone keeps spawning at like the front of the lot. Oh no, girl. Oh my gosh. Okay. Did you even put your tampon in? Um, I don't think so. Oh, that's not a tampon. <laughs> okay. Let's use the tampon. Okay. Poor girl. I feel like she needs like a nice bath or something. Um, we also really need to get some cleaning done. I feel like, um, well, I guess she's going to do it to help out her mom, even though like she's not feeling the greatest. Um, maybe, well, I guess she can go ahead and take a shower instead of a bath and then she'll go ahead and clean up a little bit. So I think what we're going to do is actually switch over to Esme's household just because I'm, I keep being scared that she's going to like give birth before I get there. We're going to be doing that in the next episode. Well, I don't know if she'll give birth in the, in the next episode, but it looks like she's getting there. So we're going to go ahead and just switch control to this household. Oh my God, you guys. Okay. So I played off camera a bit because she was so close and now she just went into labor in the middle of the night. 
So she just woke up, labor pains, and yeah, so she has a sore back. Um, she's in the labor. Oh my god, it's happening. So this is gonna be for the next episode. We are gonna be going to the hospital and everything to have this baby. So I'm super curious how this is gonna be. And I do, I don't know. I feel like she should call, like it's the middle of the night though. I think what she'll do is she'll go to the hospital alone. And then she's gonna start freaking out like she's alone at this hospital. And I think she will call him and hopefully he shows up. So that's gonna happen in the next episode because, you know, otherwise this will be like an hour long. Uh, clearly she's stressed out right now. She's trying to like go to the laundry mat in the middle of the night. Instead, we're gonna have her come back in, use the bathroom, and yeah. Oh my god, you guys, leave baby name suggestions down below. Remember, it's a baby girl. What do you think we should name the baby? Of course, I'll also be looking for names myself. So I may end up choosing a name from you guys or I may end up just falling in love with the name that I find. So yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we're having a baby. What the heck? So this shall be interesting. I feel like she's gonna make herself some waffles and stuff. Well, does she have the time? <laughs> I think we need to just get to the hospital. We might have the time. I feel like she can eat at the hospital. I think it's go time. I think we gotta go. So next episode, we will be right at the hospital. Of course, I have the realistic childbirth mod, so I'll be using that. She'll be at the hospital at the start of the next episode. So I hope you guys are ready for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. In the city